it was top versus bottom as league leader Celtic made the short trip to Paisley. Just eight games to go for St Mirren. They are desperate for the points. Celtic, meanwhile, looking to stretch their lead at the top of the table. Stokes, instant control from the Irishman, it's Anthony Stokes. He couldn't quite provide the finish. Getting the nod to start in attack for Celtic this evening. Forrest, good challenge by Tesla, but the ball finds its way to Johansson. Scott Brown captaining Celtic once again. Commons makes the space for the cross. And again, and it was a shot saved by Mark Richards. Well, Commons saw the gap between the goalkeeper and that near post and almost got him out. It's a foul by John McGinn and Stefan Johansson, who is away with his country, Norway, in the last week. And defeated heavily by Croatia. This is Commons. Commons! It's just a side netting. 12 goals so far this season for Chris Commons. He sized up Genev, went down the outside. Denier. Now Adam Matthews. Commons, close control. And he had Genev all over the back of him, quickly taken by Commons. The Celtic looked to find the space for a chance. Armstrong, Commons, surely this time, good save, Richards. That looked almost certain to be the opener. But for another good stop from the St Mirren goalkeeper, Armstrong cutting in field, nobody picked up the run of Chris Commons. But it was a smart save from Richards. Celtic have won 40 points from the last 42 available against St Mirren. Forrest, well marshalled by Tesla. Sadly, Forrest trying to get back and do his defensive duty, and it goes towards Mallon. Comfortable enough for Craig Gordon. Van Dijk. Finds Armstrong out wide. One back by St Mirren. Mallon with a smart turn. But Celtic have the ball back. It's Stokes. Commons opening up in front of him. Now feeds it through for Forrest. But again, they can't beat Richards. Forrest this time denied by the goalkeeper. And at the moment, he is the only man standing between Celtic and the lead here in Paisley. Just one win here all season for St Mirren. It did come recently though. Can they shock Celtic as Mallon goes down? Arkan had the shot, but there were claims for a penalty for the foul on Mallon. Celtic will be happy to have a change of scene, although the victory's over Dundee United. This is the first team outside of Jackie McNamara's side that they've played in over a month. It's Commons onto Stokes. Ridgers again down well. Ronnie Dyla trying to work out how to find a way past Mark Ridgers. Perhaps a set play as Celtic's most likely route to goal. Commons takes it. Van Dijk couldn't get a touch. And Ridgers palms it out. It's Commons again. And once more, Chris Commons finds the side netting. Ridgers again being called into action. Just to claw that one away from Denier. Rifled in at pace by Commons, but off target. Goodwin. It's Mallon. Well, he's a confident young man. 
just 19 years old. Happy enough to take that on from distance. It was well struck. Armstrong. Scott Brown surveying the options. Johansson through to Stokes, well blocked, and it comes off Naismith. And St Mirren survive. Nothing Ridgers could do about that one. But it flashed just wide. Stokes battling away. But one back by Genev, gets the return from Arkan. The Bulgarian advancing. Still Genev, Arkan! Well, Dayton was crying out for the ball to go wide. Good run by Genev. Arkan went for the spectacular. Denier struts forward, learning a thing or two from his centre-back partner, Virgil van Dijk. Scott Brown into Commons. Back to Brown. Matthews with the overlap. Now James Forrest! And at last, Celtic have found a way past Ridgers. And it's James Forrest who makes it 1-0. And there is young Jay Beattie to celebrate the goal. He's becoming a bit of a celebrity fan these days. Matthews with the pullback, Forrest with the finish. And that is just James Forrest's third goal of the season, but two of them have come against St Mirren. A superb move, well finished off. Forrest, nobody on his back, and he decides to turn and now run at the back four. Johansson back to Forrest, surely that hit a hand. Yes, says Alan Muir. Celtic have a penalty kick. Genev, the man who had his arm outstretched. There wasn't a lot he could do to get it out of the way, but that denied James Forrest's shot on target. And an easy decision for Alan Muir. It's Stefan Johansson for number two. And surely now the three points are heading back to Celtic Park. It took their time to get on target this evening. Forrest after 64 minutes, then Johansson with 11 minutes to go. Johansson turns. Johansson just looking to pick his moment to release Gary Mackay. Stephen! Not far away from what would be his fourth goal in a Celtic jersey. But it is Celtic who will extend their lead at the top of the Premiership.